No, there's not. Um, I actually, I think that it might be in the loop. I don't remember, to be honest with you. Um, give me one second. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna try this one out. I'm just not sure what to do. I think I'm gonna go with the Ultra Slims. I don't know why. Let's look at, oh, let's look this up. Yeah, this one said, yeah, I, I was right. This one said to use Ultra Slim, so I'm gonna use the Ultra Slims. And the Ultra Rocket Frame. My pocket rocket frame. Cornering. Okay, cornering goes up. Uh, Godspeed Motor Mark II. It says that works. It's telling me not to use the side, uh, side stabilizers on this one, so we might just take those off. Uh, regular battery super boost gears. Yes, yeah, we have to take that off. Uh, regular? Yeah, it's regular. Suspension, heavy, bumper plate on. Yes, okay, so we are good to go here. Just tell me to do it, so I'm going to try it. This course is so long, your machine has to be really tough to handle it. I'm not sure. Okay. Looks like most of them are using the super slings. Alright, I'm actually doing a whole lot better keeping up this time, though. I'm actually in the lead. Oh, I fucked up again. Well, guess what? Come on. Come on. Y instead of B. But... I, I think we're, we're going to do it. The, the faster the battery runs out, the less likely I'm going to have to do that. So I'm okay with that with the regular battery. So I think the first two laps, I'm going to have to worry about that one. But I'm fast enough to, to just go. I also feel like the grip, the grip might be the problem. So I know the Ultra Slims might be better for speed. I'm not going spiky. Right back in first. There we go. Come on, land. Okay, we're good. I'm okay. How am I doing? There we go. We have to be careful with the gauge because if we're, we're going through it pretty quick. We're good, we're good. We are, we are slowing down, which is good for us, actually. We've, we've built enough of a lead that the high capacity battery wouldn't have been able to get to this point, like ever. Yeah, we're doing great. We're doing really well right now. As soon as we stop leaving the leaving the ground on on that jump, Gage is going back up slowly. But as soon as we stop leaving the ground on that jump, we are golden pony boy. And I am so invested in this. I feel really stupid. <laughs> I feel so dumb right now. There, they, we are we are getting close to, to losing here. We're in second, which is not good. But they have the loot to deal with, and we don't. We're done with the loot. Now, if they catch up with us, we do have two boosts to, to use, and a fair amount of gauge. There we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. One CP. And I got an achievement. Win all pocket circuit races. Well... Fuck you, game. Thank you, uh, guide that's better than all the other ones. That went well. I'm very happy. Mint racing skills, as always, Kazuma kun. Thrilling stuff. Come back for another race soon. Mint. Okay. We've done it. We have finally done it. We've got new parts in mm -hmm. stock. Mmm. 
Exciting news. The parts shop's got new things in stock. We've They've got a decent range for you to choose from now. Experiment with different parts to create your very own one-of-a-kind uh. racing machine. Sure. I really want to just have a bunch of just dra just a giant drag race would be hilarious <laughs> if I could. I think I have a limit on how far I can go, but if I could build it on the street, I want a drag race with a jump on it. Let's see what else they have, because I might be able to just That's buy the rest of it. I'm not a completionist, but I will tell you what. I will buy both of these. <laughs> oh, yes. I will buy both. Now, I know that they're, I'm missing something, but I don't care. Nowhere near enough to give a shit. <laughs> so, let, no, not you. Just grabbing me. Alright, you. Hey, Kazuma Kun, and give him here. Uh, let's see. No, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna enter a race. Uh, the, the other ones are all just the Kazuma Cup or some shit. I don't feel like doing those. And you don't feel like doing it. Because I don't know what to do with them. So, back to the taxi. Excuse me. Get out, get out of my way. Head back down. Get my money. There we go. Spend my money. Eat my money. Drink my fresca. Yes. Good. Oh, right. Alright, so let's go to abilities. We can do all kinds of stuff here. But, I would like to get to this. I think these are just attack boosts. Like, I think this is just helpful. Because this is all going straight to the battle, the other battle styles. So we spent a decent amount of money on that. I, I like the other stuff. Beast is still my favorite. And I think I want to continue on with Beast. And just do stuff. Right? So I finish this off. Or I finish this off. Like if I go here. Charging Bear Hug. Sure, yes. 400 grand. Easy. Easy. I want to know how to get this though. Because I these seem helpful. Right? I think it does. Steel gut. Buy that. One billion. Can't do that, unfortunately. Tortoise spirit. Maximum health, XXXL. I used to wear that shirt size. Oh, jeez. Look at that. Look at my health. Maximum health, max. Weapon master defense. Azure Dragon Spirit. Sure. Okay. Whatever. Can't buy anything else because it's, uh, it's all 400 million. You keep calling it 1,000, but it's 400 million more. And we are actually... Essence of Sword Shattering. Uh, I don't... I'd be wearing knuckles the whole time. Charged Kick. It's pretty cool. Max Health. Yay! Boost the damage you deal when attacking stun enemies. Yay! Oh, so at this point, it's just collect the cash. We also do need to go get some food, and then we can start doing the, the main mission. But I finally finished off the pocket circuit stuff, and that makes me really happy. Uh, we can also go spend some CP before I do anything. Uh, I also have the postcards to deal with. I'm being told to look. You know, this space looks a bit empty. Maybe we could put a statue here or something. We took down the Finance King and Sam Camarocho. I guess we should put something here to celebrate. To celebrate the defeat of the five billionaires and the liberation of Camarocho, you can install a gold statue of Kiryu for 10 billion yen. This statue does not grant any benefits except to celebrate your victory. Uh, no. I don't have 10 billion. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's not gonna happen for a little while. There we go. It's 
pretty good. I need to swap you out of there. I'll put Gambling King. No. No, not Gambling King. I'll put uh, you in there. Why not? Nugget has one more, right? This is Nugget, right? Yeah, Nugget has one more before I need to swap him out. I'm going to swap him out for Gambling King. Take that minus four at the beginning, but you make a lot more money when he's in there. Like, a lot more. All right, let's look at everything here. Spend our cash money. Yes. Yes. Oh. Lame. Nope. Miracle's my only five star. And that annoys me. I feel like I should have more. Hotel Diamond Palace. Someday this will all be paid off. All this money that I spend on this will pay off. I doubt it, but I like to think so. But I'm very close on one of these. Closer on a couple, but I'm very close. There we go. Everything's good there. Oh, oops. <laughs> Not spining, unfortunately. Oops. It's my fault, and the Electronics King guy should not be here anymore either. Oh well. Oh well. Right, we have post office things to do, or postcard things to do. Take a look at these. I had a postcard right on the radio once so far. I need to get two more on air to win a deluxe prize worth a million yen. Which is just... chump change at this point. Another, another story that's good for radio. Let's write a postcard. What should I write about? It needs to be a topic Dolce Camilla would want to read on air. Oh boy. That's a lot. Becoming a daddy. Oh geez, I have a whole bunch of them. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember half of these to be honest with you. Like shrink rat, I, know, I remember becoming a daddy. Because it was really funny. Um, Miracle and Maharaja, that's a good one. Um, but I don't know. I just don't know. Hmm. Didn't we do the Dominatrix one? I don't know. A lesson in S and M. I don't know what to do about any of this. Uh, let's think. We hit, we did the dominatrix one, dominatrix one, right? I don't know. We're gonna do Miracle and Maharaja because that feels like it makes sense. All right, about dancing with a superstar without any revealing details. Now let's see. There. Oi. Hey, Marina. Can you mail this postcard later? Hi. Oh, of course. Are postcards your new hobby? Not exactly. Just don't read it. I won't. Never ever read it. I said I won't. Stop saying that. I hope they choose my postcard. Better tune in to Dolce Camilla's radio show next time and check. Which would be now, right? Hope they... How do I know when it comes back? Do I just leave and come back here? Or? How do we figure this one out?
Yes. It's on. How are you doing, everybody? It's showtime. I'm your host, Dolce Camilla. As always, we kick off the show with shout-outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Here's Dolce Camilla's Dolce de Postcard. Come on, Dolce, read the postcard from Judgment Kazi. This feature postcard is from our listener, Judgment Kazi Kuhn. Yay, dot, 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 exclamation point. Hello, Dolce Camilla's fan. Hello, I love your show, regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I met a global superstar. I can't mention any names, but let's say he was... Miraculous. A miraculous superstar, could he be the one? I watched the superstar dance at a disco. Spectacular is the only way I can describe it. A miracle at the disco? I paid good money to see that. He challenged me to a dance-off, but I got schooled by the master. What? That's just insane, Judgment Kazi Kun. You think? P.S. Next time, victory is mine. Whoa, Judgment Kazi Kun. That's unbelievable. If I were standing, you'd knock me off my feet. A dance battle against the superstar, no less. Judgment Kazi Kun, I tip the hat I'm not wearing to you. But I must say, you have you have confidence if you think you could actually beat him. I'd say it'd take more than a miracle. Whoa. <laughs> That's the second time Judgment Kazi Kun has had a postcard featured on the show. If you get on the air three times, you win a deluxe gift worth a cool million yen. Keep your postcards coming, listeners. No, it's time already. Too bad, too sad. That's our show for today, folks. All right. All right, then. Make sure to tune in again. Goodbye, and see you next time. Da 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 da. Another one of my postcards got on the air. All right, I got on the air. Mr. President, is something the matter? Uh, yeah. I mean, no. It's, uh, nothing. Postcard Pro, cure you. Look at that. Let's write another one. Postcard Master. I had two postcards right in the air, one more to go to win that deluxe million yen prize. Alright, I just need a story that'll make it on air. Write a postcard. What should I write in now? It needs to be a topic Dolce Camilla would want to read on air. I'm just going to look this one up. Okay, so the ones that we can get... Well, I'm actually going to click into this one. Uh, the Visionary Fortune Teller... No. Aracure Quest. A R A K U R E. Aracure? Uh, no. How to Train Your Dominatrix. I swear we've done that one already because we had that conversation. I enjoyed that one. It was funny. Shrink Wrap Dream. There we go. We have that one. Miracle on Tenkaichi Street, Miracle on Maharaja. I think we've done both of those. I don't know what we've done, but we're going to Shrink Wrap Dream. All right, about buying a shrink wrapped adult magazine from a vending machine for that kid. Right. I forgot about that one. Now let's see. There. Oi. Hey, Marina. Can you mail this postcard later? Who are you sending these postcards to? It's a secret. You're finally putting yourself out there, Mr. President. Huh? Just don't read, okay? Okay, okay. I hope they choose my postcard again. Better tune in to Dolce Camilla's next radio show and check. Yes. I want that prize. Yes. Whatever that prize may be, I want it. It's on. How are you doing, everybody? It's showtime. I'm your host, Dolce Camilla. As always, you kick out the show. Shout outs to our faithful listeners by reading out their postcards. Here's Dolce Camilla's Dolce de Postcard. Come on, Dolce, read the postcard from Judgment Cat. Today's featured postcard is from our listener, D Judgment Cassy Coon. Dot 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 exclamation point. <clears throat> As we have been calling it. <laughs> Hello, Dolce Camilla San. Hello. I love your show, regular listener. Thank you. The other day, I saw a young boy wanting to buy a shrink wrap magazine from a vending machine. Shrink wrapped? Oh no, one of those, huh? The boy told me he asked his mother about the magazines in the vending machine, and she flipped her lid. Well, Kazi Kun, what would be the right response? The boy was losing faith in grown ups, and that wasn't right, so I decided to buy a magazine for him. Wait, what? You lost me there, Judgment Kazi Kun. Even as a grown up, buying something like that is a little embarrassing. Who knows, maybe someday they'll come in the mail. They do. P.S. What does Dolce mean, Dolce Camilla-san? 
I have to wonder about the judgment of Judgment Kazakun here. What's in store for that little boy? By the way, Dolce, part of my name, means sweet in Italian. But you can't say you can't sweet talk me after that little letter, Kazakun. That one's that one's got me going sour. Oh, that was the third time we featured a postcard from Judgment Kazakun. Congratulations. I finally made it. Thanks, Dolce Camilla. As a special reward to celebrate Judgment Kazakun's achievement, I have a little surprise for him. Hmm, a surprise. Uh oh. 